Hello everybody and welcome to week two of our data visualization class. You've survived the first week and now we begin the second third of the class um, where we'll talk more about how to visualize specific um, scientific principles. Um, last week we looked at how to visualize amounts and proportions. Um, the rest of this week we'll be looking at specific things like relationships and comparisons and today we're going to be covering uncertainty and how we can quantify uncertainty and how we can visualize uncertainty. Um, this is a really important concept, especially when you're doing science communication, in part because uncertainty is a very hard concept for people. People don't like uncertainty. People like single numbers that are easy to interpret. Um, dealing with um, confidence intervals and credible intervals is kind of a harder thing to do, but it's really important, and it's really important to communicate that visually. And so hopefully after today, you'll have a whole bunch of new tools to show uncertainty in your visualizations and in your results. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with the slides. If you go to the course website for today, you can get to the slides there. Um, we're only talking about two general concepts in the slides today. Um, the rest will just be practicing with R, making density plots and histograms and all sorts of cool things. Um, so what we'll be talking about today is the necessity to communicate uncertainty and why it's so hard to do. And then we'll show you a whole bunch of different ways to visualize that uncertainty and what makes a good visualization and what makes a bad visualization, what helps people understand the importance of uncertainty when you're, when you're communicating your results. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 